All right, what I'd like to show you is how to graph a piecewise function. Given this function, I'm given kind of three expressions, and I'm given three constraints. So all a piecewise function is is really kind of three different now lines that we have to graph, and now they have constraints on them. Because usually when we graph linear lines, they go from negative infinity to infinity, and for both your domain and your range. But now what we have done with the piecewise functions is we've made constraints on our lines. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to rewrite each one of these expressions in a, a y equals mx plus b form, so then I can just kind of get my mind set up in what they actually mean. So this graph, this expression would be y equals a negative 1. This would be y equals 2x. And this would be read as y equals 6. So now I, I'm starting to think of these. I need to say, all right, well, if I remember my y equals mx plus b form, I need to say, all right, what is going to be the y-intercept for each one of these equations, and then what is going to be the slope? If I look at this first one, I notice that there is no x, so therefore I have no slope. And my y-intercept just got to give me a negative 1. Therefore, this is going to be a constant line at negative 1. Now, when graphing a linear equation, I notice that um, I have constraints. This graph is only true when x is less than or equal to 0. Okay, so I won't write it in. So what I can do, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just graph it as when it's only true, or you can maybe just graph the whole equation and then start erasing where it's not true. And I'm going to go through that just so you guys can kind of see what the whole graph will look like. So um, I have x equals negative 2. Actually, Samantha, could you uh, look at my, actually, you see that red marker right on the, in the folders? In my folders, in my folders to the right. You see a red marker? Yep, you just throw it. Well, underhand, toss it. You know you're making a video, right? I know. I know. <laughs> OK. So if I was going to graph this at negative 1, I'd go down to negative 1. All right. Then I now I say, all right, it's only true, though, when x is less than or equal to 0. Well. Where, is zero, where x is 0 is right at the y-intercept. So therefore, this graph, I'm only going to shade in where it's true. We're not going to shade. We're not going to draw where it's false. We don't care about where it's false. We only care about where this equation is true. So it's only true when x is less than or equal to. Since it's equal to, it's going to be a closed circle. Next point, y equals 2x. What does that graph look like? Well, I know that. My slope now has a slope of 2 over 1. And I do not have a y-intercept. I'm sorry, my y-intercept um, is 0 since it's not labeled up there. So I do have a y-intercept at 0, but it's not shown in the equation. So therefore, I know it's, it's 0. So therefore, on this, to graph it, if my slope is now 2 over 1, that means I'm going to rise 2, go over 1. Rise 2, over 1. So now we're down 2 to the left one, and down 2 down 2 to the left one, and then down 2 to the left one. So again, I'm just going to dot a line just so I know, just so I approximately know what my graph is going to look like. Then it says, this, however, this graph is only true from 0 when 0 is less than x or less than or equal to 3. So therefore, since it's just less than, I know it's going to be um, since it's just uh, x is greater than, it's going to be an open circle. And it's going to be between 0 and 3. So I'm going to go over 3, 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to follow that up to my graph. And now this is going to be x is less than or equal to 3, so it's going to be a closed dot. And I'm just going to shade in this graph here. So that is between 0 and 3 is only when this equation makes sense. That's the only time that equation is true. All these this values over here and these values over here, it's not true under these constraints. So uh, I'm not going to include them in my graph. And then lastly, I have y equals 6. Again, it's just like y equals negative 1. The y-intercept is at 6. And it says it's only true when x is equal to 0. Or I'm sorry, x is greater than 3. So therefore, at 3 again, I'm at, or at my 3. That dot really should be about there. Sorry, guys. I don't have graph paper on my board, so i got to be close to as proximate as possible. 
Um, and x would be at 3. Greater than three, this dime, this lock would look like this. However, I'm only concerned about when it's greater than or equal to three. So it's roughly going to be right there. I understand from home, you guys can see that, you know, my graph right here is not going to be the best in the world um, because I'm just making up my my scaling is not exact. But your graph should roughly look something into this um, format. And now, guys, you can see the blue is all I'm concerned with. So I'm just going to simply just erase away my red because those are points that do not meet the constraints of my piecewise function. So there's no point having them on there. I just use them as a template to graph my rest of my equations. All right. So that is how you graph a piecewise function um, when given uh, when given your equations and your constraints.